Hello everyone, I am Father Time. Um, this is just another dystopia mod development update. Um, this one is very specific to... Sorry, just making sure my headphones are on. Um, one person, Patrick, it's uh, due to the fact that he is helping with its development. But also, again, it's of common interest to anyone who's following this mod's development. So, um, I'll start off by saying what we are loading in right now is... Um, the gyroscope, which is a new item that we are uh, currently in development. If you go into um, our forums, you'll actually see... I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep information on it, but... Um, as we go... And this was the photograph of the first model that we'll be loading in. Um, at the, as I mentioned before, this Patrick gentleman is the one who's doing the model designs for us. So that's what he had in the the modeling program. And he uh, just got the, the model to me itself so I could load it into Minecraft. So without further ado, I thought this will be funny. Now remember, guys, um, this is the very first time I ever loaded it in. And one thing I should note that's pretty amazing is that it loaded on its first try. So we've got this on a good pace where we are making progress. Our our models are just straight into Minecraft without ma any code adjustments. Um, however, there is one thing that we're going to need to do moving forward with the models. We already know about it, and I just wanted him to see it because I thought it was funny. Um, you'll notice that when I place the uh, helicopters, they kind of stand nose first into the ground. So uh, that's not necessarily a good thing. Um, however, you'll notice, even with the high polys, as you... Uh, mentioned before, they they they're not bad on rendering. I have to, that's the they disappear because the rendering box is, is still where it thinks it should be, and the models rotated all wrong. So as soon as you're not looking at it, it disappears. But that can be all fixed. But um, it's you can see it's looking great. Um, we might have to lower its poly counts just a slight bit because uh, I do notice a slightest bit of I don't know. It's it's really hard to tell. I can't tell if it's really lagging or if it's just me, but it could, um, I, I don't know. Anyways, but as you can see, this is a problem. Now, with all of our previous models, just like with the ATMs, um, they rotated on the 90 degree axis I'm willing to bet, or 90 degree negative uh, X axis, I should say. So I'm going to go test that in code real quick right now to see if that's what it is. Um, so we'll shrink this down, and I just wanted you to see that before I fixed it. So if we go into here go into its renderers, and you know what, I'll just borrow the code from the ATM, that'll make my life easier. I bet you this will probably fix this as well, and if so, then it's just a general issue with our exporter, and that, that should be easily fixed. So we'll do that, bam, code's fixed. I have another client launched. So we'll go in, and sure enough, it's now facing the right direction. So it appears now that that offset could be partly my fault with code and stuff too, because I did just load it straight in. It has the old models stuff, so um, that's one thing. Uh, I don't know if these. Oh shit! That's right. This was a problem I was already having with other stuff. Um, in fact, now if I recall, I can't even get out of it. Yeah, this was something else that's not related to the model. Um, so let's do something real quick. Because if I re remember, that's in here. It has to do with these calls. So I'll just do that for now. Helicopter shouldn't actually have any function or anything, but hopefully I can get in and out of it, see where I sit in it. Um, I was experimenting with other code for its flight stuff, so it was unrelated to this model stuff. Oh, that's right, I'm still going to be glitchy, I believe. I have to recreate the world. No! Oh, wait, nope, I guess not. So obviously offsets are not good. Um, we're gonna have to figure out what's going on here. Um, like I said, this is more on my code side, but also um, has to do with where your uh, your center of your model is. Because basically, as I stated before, let's try to get him as close to it as I can. Where's the view there? Um, like you can see how his legs orientations are, or orientation is. It's not exactly 90 degree angle. He does angle him downwards a little bit when he's sitting. 
Um, so so does your seat, luckily. So we basically need where, like, right there where that crosshair is, the center of his bottom is the center of his back. Like, we're, like right up his back where the, his head anchors and pivots at is that axis there is where we want centered in the pilot seat. And uh, and then obviously his legs will go out forward. So what will happen is I turn his head, or actually more is his body turns and like the rotation of the helicopter turns as well with it. And uh, it should sync up just like how the boats do. Like, oh goodness, that camera's hard to walk in. Um, but if we do ourselves a little moat. Water! So the behavior we're kind of mimicking is this. So you you can get it. Oop, hello. You can get into it. Um, he sits on it. Uh, as you can see, like where his seat is, it, it'll pivot off of that. So if I turn the boat, it the boat like it doesn't swing in the center of the boat. It, it's kind of an oblong swing. It, the pivot point is in the backside where my butt is. Um, so that's the reason, that's why I put that down. So when I sit in this helicopter seat, when I turn the helicopter, this whole back end is going to swing around widely, while this front end will just swoop around shallowly in the front, because it's not going to be a centered swing. So we're going to sit right about here. I wish I could see this a little better. But right about here in the seat, if it was, oh, I was higher up. Oh. Yay, somewhere in there. So at about that height, with my little leg sticking forward, so as far I wish I could see this from another angle. I need like another game client logged in, but as far as I can see, I'm sorry, I have hiccups. The uh, the rotors shouldn't be any issues with clipping of the head, even if I went up a little bit high ooh, higher. I don't think it would be. Might, I don't think I'd ever get that high from in a sitting position. So that'll be great. I do love the saddlebags on the side, by the way. I didn't see those in the original model. I just noticed those. So great job on that. So yeah, um, all in all, it's great. We'll just need to get that rotation fixed and then try to figure out our offsets. That's one of those things I think we'll have to do together. But um, yeah, guys, this is going to be the future of it. Um, what we discussed is that um, if I go back and I don't know why I did all that small screen. It probably would have been a lot easier. Yeah, it would have been a lot easier in full screen. Um, but the uh, one of the things that we were discussing, or actually there's several things I'll go through, um, all of this metal, the fuel tanks, the en the engine, um, all of that will be static. So it won't be able to change color. Like the tank will probably be red. The the scaffolding will be metal, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, however, the tail, f the the pattern on the fin, and then the pattern on this cone will be what the different textures are. So there'll be like a police one, an emergency helicopter one, you know, a commercial one, whatever the case may be. Um, and then depending on the one, so like the commercial ones, the cargo ones will have these saddlebags on them to where, um, you know, the police ones won't. They're more aerodynamic for speed and, and response and stuff like that. So um, another thing is when you craft these, we're going to break this model apart and you'll have to craft the individual pieces. So you'll have landing gear parts, you'll have um, the frame, you'll have the engine, you'll have the tail rotor, the main rotor, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, that's a... Uh, I've rambled long enough. I won't hold you guys any longer. Um, but this is the beginning of the next step. The, <laughs> if I can get them to fly, that'll be the the, the impressive thing. Because lately they're just doing all sorts of horrible things, like as you saw, uh, blinking me out of existence and stuff like that. So I'm working on it. Um, but this is uh, the first. And actually, you know, there is one more thing that I did want to test. Let's go back into the code side real quick. Um, I wanted to see. I thought it was animating their rotors already. She'll rotate. Hmm. These values ever being set. Oh, it is calling. Maybe the turn is just way too little. No, because I sat there and stared at it for some time. It's quite odd. 
back into that renderer real quick, and then I'll bring this to uh, bring it to a conclusion. Yeah, it should be rotating. Up. Is it? Oh, maybe it's not being a. No, it should be a cumulative the way I've designed. Huh, well they're not turning, so that's something I'll have to look into, but for now, yeah, it's some great progress, and also Patrick, well done on the design. I, I think this is going to be a lot of fun when it's a finished product, so um, the, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and um, I look forward to uh, completing this and putting it in your hands, so take care.